Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. I'm really excited for today's video. This is a video that I have been asked for time and time and time again. I would say at least daily, someone asks me for a video on how I get my protein in. How do I reach or surpass my protein goal every single day? There's actually two parts to this video. One part would be what are my tips and tricks on how to get in protein? And then the other part of, would be what foods do I eat to get in my protein? So I'm going to make this a little mini series here on my channel. And today we're going to start with what are my go-to foods that contain protein that helped me reach my goal. So I am surrounded by all the foods that I eat on a regular basis. All of these foods are currently in my house because they are my go-tos to help me reach my protein goal. So if you're excited to hear all about my favorite protein rich foods, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload five videos a week and you're not going to want to miss the next video in this little mini series my tips and tricks on how to get in your protein and reach your weight loss goals check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching i do offer personalized macros and calories where i give you two different protein goals to shoot for every single day. So I highly recommend that service so that you can implement these protein rich foods into your diet to reach your goals. You need to know where you as an individual should be every day in macros and calories. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability and discussion as well. Links and discounts to my favorite things as well as any protein products that I share with you in today's video that can't be found at your local grocery store all of that with any discount information will be down in the description box as well. And last but not least, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's dig into my plethora of high protein go-tos. Like I said, all of the foods that I'm going to be sharing with you today are foods that are in my house at all times. A big chunk of these foods I eat every single day. They are the staples of my diet and they have helped me not only lose over 115 pounds, but they also help me reach my protein goal every day, which spoiler alert, helps with weight loss. They also help refuel my body after my workout. Not only are these protein rich foods delicious, but they are essential for overall weight loss success. Protein is the key to weight loss. I wanna start with a food that I currently don't have on hand because my husband ate them all, and these are the Yasso's Greek Yogurt Ice Cream Bars. I'll just go ahead and pop a picture in for you guys. These are a great sweet treat that have protein. If you're gonna have a sweet treat or a dessert at night, do your best to have something that has some protein, some fiber, some healthy carbohydrates in it that you still get to enjoy dessert, but it also helps reach your goals. And these Yasso Bars and the Yasso Poppables, these, both of these are excellent sweet treats. Next up is Canadian bacon. Not only is this a very low point, low calorie protein packed food, it is very versatile. You can add this to things like breakfast sandwiches. You can roll these up with some cheese in the middle of it and just have a really high protein snack. You can add this to pizza. It's a really versatile, high protein food. You can have three slices of Canadian bacon for 60 calories and 10 grams of protein. That's a huge bang for your protein buck for only 60 calories. I end up buying mine in bulk at Sam's Club or Costco. I love Canadian bacon. I love to fry a few pieces up with some eggs in the morning. It's just a really great way to get in some protein. Another staple for me are low carb tortillas. I'm not picky on the brand right now. I have the low, the La Tortilla Factory low carb tortillas. I also like the Mission Carb Balance ones, but what's great about these is they serve as a vessel to get lots of good inside, but they are low in calories. These particular ones are 70 calories and they have five grams of protein per tortilla. Now, if you just buy a regular flour tortilla, there's one maybe grams of protein in it. So by choosing tortillas that have a little bit more protein, you still get the delicious tortilla, but you also help reach your protein goals. Next up is lunch meat. Now I'm particular on my lunch meats. I like to pick up ones that have no nitrites or nitrates or have just a little bit cleaner ingredients that aren't filled with things that I really don't want to put in my body. 
But lunch meat is not only another really low point, low calorie, high protein option, it's super versatile. Kind of similar to Canadian bacon. I have been loving doing this pepper turkey from Sam's Club. I spread a wedge of laughing cow cheese or a slice of cheese in there, a little bit of mustard and I roll it up and it is a perfect lunch. I pair it with my favorite crunchy snack or some fruit and I just feel like I'm getting a really high protein, well-balanced lunch, very low in points, very low in calories. I always have some type of deli meat on hand. Next is yogurt. Yogurt is a go-to for me. I talk about this a lot on my channel that I pretty much have a Greek yogurt every single day because it is packed with protein. You can opt for a non-fat Greek yogurt. You can doctor this up with your favorite add-ins or mix-ins, and it serves as a really good sour cream replacement that has protein. So whenever we can swap something that doesn't have protein or a lot of nutritional value out with something that does, I highly recommend doing that. It's just going to get you a little bit closer to your goals. This particular Greek yogurt is non-fat plain. There's 120 calories in one cup and it has 18 grams of protein. So half of a cup of this has nine grams of protein. I'm also a big fan of flavored yogurts. This is a go-to snack for me. I love the Too Good brand, the Oikos Triple Zero, Oikos protein yogurt, the Siggy's yogurt. This particular one, Too Good, is 80 calories and has 12 grams of protein. Again, a big hit of protein for only 80 calories. So you will always find multiple kinds of Greek yogurt in my fridge. This is another staple for me and that is cottage cheese. If you love cottage cheese, eat it. Eat it all the time because it is super high in protein. The good culture one is my favorite. I love the full fat, I love the low fat. Right now I have the low fat on hand and a half of a cup is only 80 calories and contains 14 grams of protein, 14 grams in a half of a cup of cottage cheese. If you are not a big fan of cottage cheese because of the texture, put this in your eggs or cook with it. It melts down and becomes cheesy, just like you would have, just like if you would have added regular cheese to a dish or to your eggs. It's a great way to get an extra protein just subbing out cottage cheese for another type of cheese in cooking. But it's such a great high protein snack. You can make it savory by adding pepper to it or croutons. You can make it sweet by draining a notion sugar added fruit cup and popping it on top or using fresh fruit, but another huge staple for me. Speaking of cheese, cheese sticks are another thing I eat every day. I actually eat a lot of cheese. <laughs> I eat cheese at least once to twice per day, but cheese sticks are great because they're low cal, low points, and they're anywhere from five to seven grams of protein, depending on the cheese stick you choose. These particular cheese sticks came from Imperfect Foods. They have five or six grams of protein. So anywhere from five to seven grams of protein in a cheese stick, one of my go two snacks you guys know is to have a rice cake with nut butter and a cheese stick. It's the perfect snack. It's a healthy carb. It's a healthy fat and it's some protein from the cheese stick and of course the nut butter. Kind of along the same lines as the Yasso ice cream bars and poppables. I love finding little sweet treats and desserts that actually contain protein. So this is from the brand Eat Pastry and these are the bite size protein cookie dough. These are really, really delicious. This is the peanut butter chocolate chip. The entire package is a serving. It has 170 calories and it contains five grams of protein. So not bad for a sweet treat, for a sweet treat of little balls of cookie dough. You can find these in the refrigerated section at Sprouts, Whole Foods. They're really, really good. They have nice clean ingredients and you can't beat five grams of protein in dessert. Now I want to share with you a few of my pantry staples when it comes to protein. A lot of my go-to snacks. If you follow my channel, you know that I make a protein coffee every single morning. I actually get a lot of questions on how I make my protein coffee. I actually have a couple different recipes that I use. So let me know down in the comments if you want a dedicated video on how I make my different types of protein coffees and how I start my day off with 20 to 30 grams of protein. So one of my go-tos is adding a protein shake, a prepared protein shake into my coffee. Right now, I've been using the Alani shakes. I also use the Fairlight shakes, the premier shakes, the iconic shakes, really any kind of protein shake that I can get my hands on. I always shoot for about 20 to 30 grams of protein and it also adds that sweetness and creaminess to my coffee. And so instead of getting a latte or an Americano with cream and sugar-free syrup, I just add in a protein shake and it actually gives me protein, creaminess, and sweetness. I also heavily rely on protein 
powders. This is just one of the ones that I have. This is the Ghost Chips Ahoy Protein. This one is really good in my protein oatmeal that I make. I always have about five or six different protein powders on hand. I do make protein coffee with protein powder. I add it to my oatmeal. I also bake with protein powder and I just make blended up protein smoothies throughout the week as well. So I'm always, I always have several different types of protein powders on hand just depending on what I want to use them for. This particular one has 25 grams of protein and 160 60 calories in one rounded scoop, which is a lot. And this one is really good. I have some from PE Science, Devotion Nutrition, Live Well, which is a plant-based protein. I'll link a bunch of my favorite protein shakes and protein powders down below for you. Speaking of powders and protein, this has been a huge staple for me. I actually discovered this off of Amazon. This is the Iso Pure Infusions. I have the pineapple orange banana. This is a protein powder that goes into water. So when you add it to the water, it makes makes it kind of a milky color, but as you stir it in and dissolve it in with the water, it becomes more like a juice color. So this one, my water is kind of a yellowy orange color based on the pineapple orange banana flavor. It's 90 calories in a scoop and it has 20 grams of protein. So if I find that I'm lacking in protein a little bit, instead of just drinking plain water or adding water enhancer, I'll throw in a scoop of this and it gives me 20 grams of protein and flavors my water and makes it taste delicious. This one is really good. They have several flavors on Amazon. I'm definitely going to try all the different flavors, but again, a great way to get in your water and get 20 grams of protein. Another thing that I love to incorporate just for some healthy fats and a little bit of protein are chia seeds. You can really add chia seeds to anything. I love chia pudding. You know that I add chia seeds to my protein oatmeal. Wherever I can incorporate chia seeds, hemp hearts, ground flax seed, it doesn't change the taste of whatever I'm making, but it just gives me that little bit of extra protein and healthy fats. So chia seeds are a huge go-to for me. One of my favorite snacks is beef jerky. It is such a low point, low calorie, super high protein snack these steak strips from Costco. This is some of my all-time favorite beef jerky. So a serving is one ounce, which is quite a lot. It has 60 calories and nine grams of protein. Nine grams of protein in one serving. And what I love about beef jerky is it's portable. It can be left in my car, my purse, my desk drawer. I live in Arizona and it's hot all the time and I can always have beef jerky in my purse and not have to worry about temperature, whether it's cold or whether it's hot. So it's just a really portable, versatile, versatile snack. I usually weigh it out on my food scale, throw it in a little Ziploc baggie and throw it in my purse. You can also buy individually pre-portioned out beef jerky, whatever works for you. This is a go-to snack for me. I eat some type of beef jerky or meat stick every single day. But first let's talk about protein granola. I mentioned that I love having yogurt every day and one of the things that I like to do is add a crunch to my yogurt and granola is the best way to add a little bit of crunch, granola or cereal. So instead of just adding regular granola or regular cereal, I have found a few really great protein granola options. First is from, I think it's Nature's Valley. I'll go ahead and put a picture of it here on the screen. It's their oats and honey protein granola delicious. This one from Trader Joe's, also delicious. Now, as we know, granola is pretty high in points and calories, but for me, I put a tablespoon or two on my yogurt. So it's maybe a point or two or maybe 40 or 50 calories of granola. And this particular one in two thirds of a cup has 11 grams of protein. So by adding a tablespoon or two, I'm getting a gram of two of protein added to my already 15 to 20 grams in my yogurt. So it's just a great way to add some flavor, some crunch, and some sweetness to yogurt. Another little protein hack is pasta. Whenever I'm making any type of pasta, I always try to find one that has protein. So rather than your plain Jane pasta that has zero nutritional value and zero protein, I reach for a pasta that's going to offer me something in return. You know, Fiber Gourmet is my all time favorite pasta. It's 110 calories per serving, which is about 100 calories per serving less than regular non-nutritious pasta. And there is also seven grams of protein per serving and 24 grams of fiber. As a woman, we should eat 25 grams of fiber every day. So if I make a simple switch to fiber gourmet pasta, I almost have all my fiber in for the day and I have seven grams of protein and this pasta keeps me full based on its fiber and protein. And the taste, the texture of this is absolutely 
delicious. I buy mine off of the Nutrition website. I'll link it down below for you. They have the best price and they have all the different shapes of pasta. Rotini, penne, elbows, and spaghetti. Highly recommend Fiber Gourmet Pasta. We always have at least a dozen boxes in our pantry. Nut butter is my favorite thing in the world. I literally eat nut butter every single day and I've been in love with the American Dream nut butter. It is so good. It has all these yummy mix-ins like Reese's peanut butter cups and candies and cookies. So you feel like you're getting a sweet treat, a dessert, but you're also getting in nut butter. And it only has between 150 to about 170 calories per two tablespoons, which is less than Jif. Better ingredients than Jif, more exciting than Jif peanut butter. And this particular one has nine grams of protein in two tablespoons. They have peanut butter, cashew butter, almond butter. I have about 10 jars at all times in my pantry. I eat it every day, sometimes twice a day. And I've just been really loving having this on hand and it's become quite the staple for me. I like powdered peanut butter, but I'd rather just eat real peanut butter. And if I can get one that's low in points, low in calories, really good tasting and delivers protein, I'm here for it. I'll link American Dream Nut Butter as well for you with 10% off. Like I mentioned, I love sweet treats, but I like to make sure that my sweet treats give me a little bit of protein in return. I picked up these Quest peanut butter cups from Sam's Club. OMG, are these delicious. These literally no lie, tastes like a Reese's. I could not tell the difference between these and a normal Reese's, but these actually have 11 grams of protein per little two cup serving. They're a great deal at Sam's Club. You can also find the individual ones at your local grocery store if you wanna try them out before buying the big bulk box, but I think this was like 21 or $22, and there's 28 peanut butter cups. If you love Reese's, get these. Get these, get these, get these because you get 11 grams of protein. Another little snack that I love that's portable, weatherproof, are the dry roasted edamame. These are really good. Edamame in general is a really good high protein food, whether you have it in the shell, shelled, or whether you buy it roasted. I really like this brand, this Sea Point Farms. One third of a cup has 130 calories and 14 grams of protein, 14 grams. And what's great about this is it satisfies that crunchy craving and you're getting 14 grams of protein. The ingredients are really good. The flavor's really good. The sea salt one is my favorite. And again, it's a crunchy snack that gives you 14 grams of protein. Speaking of sweet treats and speaking of Quest, I bought these off of Nutrition. Same place as I buy the Fiber Gourmet Pasta. These are so good. These are the Quest Frosted Birthday Cake Cookies. Each little cookie has five grams of protein. So this is what the cookie looks like. It is super soft. It reminds me of those really soft cookies at the grocery store with all the frosting on them. I think it's the Loft House brand. That's what these remind me of, but they have less than one gram of sugar, five grams of protein, and one net carb, and they're 90 calories. So good. I mean, so, so good. The birthday flavor is so delicious. If you like the Quest Birthday Cake Protein Bar, you're gonna love these. If you love cookies, you're gonna love these. I don't know if, I'm assuming you can probably buy these in your local grocery store, but they were really affordable on Nutrition, and this is a box of eight cookies. I love these. Another one of my favorite snacks is trail mix. And I'm like a kid. I like the trail mix that has the M&Ms in it. It offers that sweet, salty vibe. I buy this at Sprouts, usually in the bulk food section, but you can even find this type of trail mix at the Dollar Tree, really at any grocery store. I measure out a serving. And not only am I getting in some healthy fats from the nuts, I get the sweetness from the raisins and the M&Ms. I'm also getting in some protein. It's a really great snack and it definitely satisfies me. It keeps me full. If I'm craving something sweet, I usually reach for trail mix because I figure I'm getting protein, healthy fats, and I'm curbing my sweet tooth. Another thing for me that I always have on hand and that I eat pretty regularly are protein bars. Whenever I am looking for a protein bar, I'm I'm looking for one that is high in protein, low in calories, and I'm taking a look at the ingredient label, but to be honest with you, there aren't a whole lot of protein bars out there that have clean ingredients or good ingredients, so I generally will pick one that I enjoy and that helps me get in my protein. So a few of my favorites are the Love Good Fats. These are really, really good. They're 190 calories per bar, which is not bad at all. This is the mint chocolate chip, delicious. And this particular one has nine grams of protein, so not a huge 
huge amount of protein, but a perfect amount for a snack. I also love the Built Bar. I love the Built Bars, the Built Puffs. In fact, my fitness coach recommends the Built Bar as a snack option or a dessert option because they're only about 130 to 160 calories and anywhere from 15 to 20 grams of protein per bar. This is the Banana Cream Pie Puff, so it's kind of like a chocolate covered marshmallow. So again, if I'm wanting something sweet or at the end of the day, if I haven't reached my protein goal, I'll have a protein bar for dessert because it satisfies my sweet tooth and helps me reach my protein goal. Another one that I really like are the dive bars. These are so good cut up and thrown in your air fryer because it literally makes them into a cookie. They are like a cookie. I'm not even joking when you throw them in your air fryer. So that's my favorite way to eat them, but I also eat them just as they are. The texture and consistency is similar to a Quest bar. The Quest protein bars bother my stomach. The Quest cookies do not. So I generally don't eat the protein bars, but I really like the dive bars. 190 calories, 16 grams of protein. This is the dump truck brownie flavor. They have really, really fun flavors and they're all really good. Another water flavoring that I really like is from Costco. This is the Protein H2O Whey Protein Isolate. This one's also 90 calories and has 20 grams of protein. So similar to the IsoPure one, I will say that I prefer the IsoPure for two reasons. Number Number one, it dissolves much better than this in water. This one, you actually need one of those little frother, frother things to get it to dissolve. And this one definitely has more of that milky protein vibe where the isopure is just like water enhancer in your water. So I like these because they are conveniently packaged into single servings and they're great for on the go. When I travel or when I'm on the go, this is what I take. I just prefer the overall flavor of the isopure better, but this is a great option for a protein water enhancer. Another one of my go-to snacks is nuts. We talked a little bit about trail mix, but I also just like having nuts on hand, whether it's almonds, pistachios, cashews, pumpkin seeds, little individual packages like this. This is the heart healthy mix from Planters Nutrition. This little packet has nine grams of protein, some healthy fats in it. We know that nuts are a little bit higher in points, a little bit higher in calories, but nuts keep me full. I eat nuts probably three to five times a week as a snack in addition to nut butter. So I guess I'm getting in a lot of nuts. Oh, and trail mix. So yeah, nuts are definitely a staple for me for healthy fats and protein. I mentioned beef jerky, but another thing that I really like are meat sticks. I've tried pretty much everyone out there and this one hands down is my favorite. This is from Nick Sticks and this is the free range turkey stick. Both of these sticks right here, both of them, 75 calories, three points, 10 grams of protein. The ingredients in this are super clean. It's actually Whole30 approved. That's how clean it is. And the taste of these is so good. They're a very soft meat stick and they have the perfect, perfect flavor. And you really feel like you're getting a lot because you're getting both meat sticks for the 75 calories, the three points, and getting 10 grams of protein. Super awesome to throw in your purse. I always have a pack of Nick sticks in my purse. I actually have a pack of Nick sticks in my desk drawer. They're just a really convenient portable snack. I buy mine off of Amazon because that is by far the cheapest place to pick them up, but I've seen them at Whole Foods, natural grocers. You can check your local grocery store, but I'll link the Amazon ones down below. Like I said, they're the most affordable. Another thing I really like are wisps or Parmesan crisps. So these are those little crunchy cheese crisps that you can add to salads or you can just snack on. These little Parm crisp snack packs and ranch are really good. I picked these up from Costco. These have 12 grams of protein and it contains almonds, parm crisps, cashews, and pistachios. This packs about 250 calories, so it is a little bit calorically dense, but it's 12 grams of protein. Not to mention all of the healthy fats that you're getting from the nuts and it is a really satisfying filling snack. And again, it's pre-portioned, so you can't overeat it. It's portable. And I also, like I said, love the wisps and the parm crisps. I buy those in bulk at Costco. They're just a really good crunchy snack. Speaking of crunchy snacks, I love crackers. I am a cracker fanatic. I love crackers and chips. And once again, I just try to find crackers and chips that have protein. So one of my all-time favorite crackers comes from the brand Chetties. Now I have only been able to find these at Sprouts. They do have a website. I haven't looked to see if they can, if you can order them online, but I can generally find them at Sprouts. And these are like Cheez-Its. 
but better. They're more cheesy, they're more crunchy, they're more crispy, and they have eight grams of protein per serving. So what I'll do for lunch is make my little turkey roll up with that pepper turkey from Sam's Club, and then I'll have a side of cheddies and some fruit, and I'm getting in 20, 30 grams of protein and a really healthy lunch. So if you can find these at Sprouts or on their website, highly recommend. Another crunchy snack that I love are the Quest tortilla chips. Honestly, these are my favorite, and the one I always pick up is the loaded taco. It literally tastes like a taco. They are so good. They're great to eat on their own. Sometimes I dip them in guacamole. You can crush them up and put them on a salad or a taco salad. There's 19 grams of protein and only four net carbs in these chips. And like I said, the tortilla taco ones are my favorite. I've heard really good things about the lime, the sweet lime, chili lime. I've heard good things about that one as well, but these are the ones I always gravitate towards. You can find these at the grocery store. I also buy them by the case off of the Nutrition website. And I recently found these and these are incredibly delicious. This is from the brand Wild and these are chips made out of chicken made out of chicken. There is no chip in here. It is made out of chicken breast. This is the golden mustard barbecue pork and there's 10 grams of protein per serving. They definitely taste like chips. Now after you chew them, you get a little back end of chicken, but they definitely don't taste like chicken. They taste a, they taste really like a regular potato chip. And this is my second bag. I love the sea salt and vinegar ones. This flavor is really good as well and you can't beat it for 10 grams of protein. There's one other crunchy snack that I want to share with you that I actually ate them all, but I'll go ahead and pop a picture in here and this is the caramelized onion I want crunchy snacks. These are a plant -based snack. They're delicious. I buy these at Sprouts and they are one of my all time favorites. They pack a big punch of protein and they are so good. They're that sweet, salty, so good. I, I'm addicted to these. That's why they're gone. But it's one of my favorite crunchy snacks that have protein in them. And last but not least, let's talk about quinoa. You may be surprised that quinoa is really a protein powerhouse. It's a great substitution for pasta, for rice. I love these little warm up in the microwave packs. This one is the quinoa with sea salt from Ancient Harvest. I actually got this off of Imperfect Foods, but you can find these, you know, Whole Foods sprouts, your local grocery store. The whole pouch is one serving. I generally only eat a about half of the pouch, but if you did decide to eat the whole pouch, it's a plant-based protein made with coconut oil, no rice fillers, and 15 grams of protein. So quinoa not only being a superfood is a great way to get in protein, and an honorable mention, kind of thing on the same lines as quinoa, is beans and legumes. Beans and legumes are a great way to get in protein and fiber as well. They make a great base for a dish, or if you wanna have a plant-based night or a vegetarian or vegan night, you can implement the protein packed bean or legume. Wow, I could go on and on with all of my favorite go-to staples to get in my protein goal every single day. I may down the road do a part two of this video as I discover more protein packed snacks and staples, but honestly, these products, as you can see, every single one of them, with the exception of the ones I already ate, are in my house at all times, and they are my absolute go-to staples. I eat several of these items every single day, which I know you see in my what I eat in a day videos and in my meal preps, but making sure that you're stocked up and prepped and have protein filled snacks on hand will be a key factor in reaching your protein goal every single day. Again, if you would like to know your personal protein goal, I'll link nutrition coaching down below for you where I offer personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching. All the products I talked about will be linked down below with any discounts that I can round up for you. All of my other favorite things and don't forget, come on over, join us on Facebook, We'd love to have you. Thumbs up today's video, subscribe, turn your bell on for part two of tips and tricks on how to get in protein. Let me know if you like this whole little protein mini series and let me know of any other protein related video ideas that you have. You guys are my sounding board and I wanna create videos that you wanna watch. So let me know what types of videos around protein interest you. Thank you again for watching and I really hope today's video is helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.